Hey everybody, DJFu here, and Tyrannosaurus Plushy, and Twilight and Godzilla. <laughs> Yay, the gang's all here for the first time in a long time. And today, we're going to redo our Pacific Rim review because you know what? We all loved it, and there was no way we could not do a video where all of us could come together and couldn't agree on one thing. Because, let's face it, all three of us loved it, right? Right. Right. So we figured, why not... For the sake of doing a good review on a movie, we're going to do one last review, all three of us, and it's going to be awesome, you know? We're going to have all those classic things, like we're all talking about the movie while we show pictures of the film, and, uh, you know, like we used to do, and it uh, doesn't rip off anyone else, you know? <laughs> no, except Godzilla Quarantine, shut up. Yeah, it's really more of an homage. <laughs> and you know, there's nothing I could definitely go wrong. I have come. Ah! Floor Asylum! <laughs> Foolish mortal. I am not Lord Asylum. I am his brother. Asylum. Asylum F? Who the hell did you get an idea like that? Haven't you ever seen the Asylum logo? Yeah, of course I've seen the Asylum logo. Look closely at it. <laughs> so, better question, why are you here? I have come here for revenge. Revenge? What the hell did I ever do? Tis not what you have done. It is what your friend Godzilla 419 has done. He threw my brother into a black hole with the aid of 914 on his dog. And I figured, hey, instead of killing Godzilla 419, why don't I kill his best internet friend? Revenge of the sweetest kind. True, I might not be killing the person who killed my brother. But I'll be causing him unbearable pain. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting tired of this. Godzilla, kick his ass for me, would you? I will smoke this bastard with pleasure. <laughs> oh no, 12 inch Godzilla! Tyrannosaurus plus, you think you can handle him? I'm about to go ham on this motherfucker. That's my boy. Go get him. Okay, that didn't work, but there's one thing that always works. Try force power activate! Try force power activate! Try force power activate! Damn it, why isn't it working? Try and use your Try force if you might, but it has been disabled thanks to this new ability I have created called Try force Rend. And thanks to this, you can also no longer use your master sword for a time. <laughs> How are you going to defend yourself, DJ Fu? <laughs> uh, whatever you do, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Or if you're going to kill me, do it quickly. No, painfully. Just do it quickly, goddammit. Just don't torture me. Christ. I hate torture. Just bullet in the head. Ping simple. Just get it over with. Oh, in due time, I intend to kill you, quickly, but first, I shall torture you with a movie that you must review. <sighs> Alright, what crappy asylum movie do I have to review? You shall review... Sharknado! <laughs> I am not reviewing that, kill me now! Kill me, son of a bitch, kill me! Not a chance in hell. You shall review this shitty movie before I kill you. And not a moment sooner. Or otherwise you will be stuck here forever! <laughs> and you have no choice but to review the movie, DJ Fu. So you might as well do it. Cheat code activated. What? What is this cheat code? No, obviously you're not familiar with the way I review movies now. Now, I just briefly talk about it, then I say what I think about it. 
can see that one coming, did ya? Huh? And there's no way to reverse the cheat code. Ha ha ha. So I just broke the video, bitch. So you have tricked me into not reviewing the entire movie, did you, but you still have to review it. Don't forget that. <laughs> so your plan is a double-edged sword, bitch. Now, let's talk about this crap fest. Okay, so Sharknado. Uh... I hate this movie. You're probably thinking, oh, DJ Food, Derek Gould, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's an asylum movie. Of course it sucks. Of course it's crappy. That's no excuse. I mean, Asylum has made some shit before, but my god, this movie was just painful to watch. <laughs> oh, I, oh, that is life. I will never get back. This movie. Oh my god, I can't even describe the plot. I mean, here's the plot. Some wild storm comes up on the west coast and picks up a shitload of sharks. Like, we're talking thousands of sharks. And... So it's spinning them around a tornado, out of water, mind you, and then the tornado moves from land, from, sorry, moves from water to land, and is attacking Los Angeles or whatnot, and sharks are getting thrown all over the place and attacking people from the tornado, mind you, and somehow the sharks are getting swept around, but the people aren't, um... Yeah, physics doesn't mean jack shit to this flick. I mean, my god, this movie is fucking horrible. Oh my god, I can't. Shit. 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 Shit, shit, shit. I mean... I didn't expect much. I'd never expect anything from something by Asylum, but my god! You'd think even Asylum would have some kind of standard, but no, they don't. They just keep getting worse. Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck this movie. I mean, Asylum doesn't have standards, but I'm pretty sure they have some kind of bottom to this pit that they are. Oh my god! This movie just destroyed the bottom and dug two million miles deeper. Oh, the physics in this movie. There are no physics in this movie. To quote my friend Godzilla419, This movie is freaking stupid. Thank you. You said it 100% correctly there, buddy. This movie is freaking stupid. What did you? Well, can't say I'm expecting a lot from a movie called Sharknado. I mean, it's like, all right, let's take Deep Blue Sea, Jaws, Twister, The Day After Tomorrow, throw all that shit together, and somehow we get this motherfucking crap. And we're taking all the bad things about all those movies, and those are some good movies. I enjoy all four of those movies. We're taking the very tiny little itty bitty cracker bad pieces of it and turning them into big seafood platters, literally. First off, tornadoes don't form over water. Anyone with a brain can figure that one out. Second, sharks can't survive that long out of water. In fact, they can't survive long out of water, period. Third, I don't even think there are that many sharks swimming along the western coast of the entire United States, western coast. I don't even think there are that many sharks swimming along this, the coast. Third? This movie is freaking stupid. Mm, it hurts my mind to think about this movie. It is so bad. It's not even so bad it's good. It's just so bad. It's It hurts to watch it. It's fucking terrible. I mean, it's Asylum. You can't expect much, but holy crap, this thing just killed anything previously Asylum ever made. I mean, it's so stupid. Ugh. It hurts my brain to think about this movie. It's dog shit. It is an F. Asylum F. <laughs>
And it gets a zero out of five stars. I can't even give it one. It is zero motherfuckers. It sucks. Do not watch this movie. Do not watch its re-premiere that they're going to show soon. I'm sure that they didn't already. Don't watch it. People, there are better things in life to do than watch this movie. Don't watch it. <laughs> do not watch this movie. Now back to me getting killed. Now that you have reviewed the movie that has made my other various creations seem like little children in contrast, this movie is an atrocity. I forged it in the flames of hell itself. Me and my brother were cooping up this movie when it was going to be released during Shock Week of this year, but unfortunately, my brother was killed and I had to finish it on my own. I could not successfully make it as shitty as we intentionally planned because my brother was busy trying to kill that fool Godzilla 419, but instead, he was... What the hell are you doing? Your world will soon come to a... <laughs> 